Hello guys and welcome back for a brand new review. At the start of August we had uh, so many releases and this one will be one of them. After some uh, delays from Nike in releasing this uh, new model, we finally got them in hand. So let's go ahead and uh, take them out of the box, guys. So today, guys, we're gonna have a look at the new Vapor Max 2021. This uh, new Paper Max was actually meant to be released a few months back, but uh, Nike kept on pushing them back. We don't actually know the reason for that, but we finally got it in hand, guys. And uh, straight out of the box, you can see that um, the lacing system has changed. It didn't have anything against the old one, I still have it to be honest. So uh, for me, it wasn't a problem, I actually like it and uh, it was actually quite easy to use but I guess uh, a lot of people were complaining about uh, this uh, new uh, system uh, which was introduced uh, last year in 2020 but I guess Nike listened and they decided to go back to the old lacing system so this uh, new Vapor Max was released here in the UK at the beginning of uh, August for a retail price of uh, 200 pounds, which is actually a bit more expensive than the one released the uh, previous year, which was just 190 pounds. So uh, I guess that's only based uh, on the fact that uh, this time Nike is uh, using more recycled materials and maybe this process uh, it's more expensive. So. Uh, for this one, Nike is claiming that uh, it has uh, at least 40% recycled content by weight. So as you can see, this shoe is actually made uh, almost entirely out of this uh, fly knit material in this uh, grey color, which uh, in my opinion is actually quite good and very readable. And Nike is saying that uh, this uh, material is actually quite stretchable and I'm not gonna deny that, it's actually quite good. And in my opinion, the material is uh, uh, completely the same compared with the last year's model. But I guess uh, it will use slightly more recycled material. So the main change for the new VaporMax 2021 will be here at the lacing system where you can see that Nike has decided to go to the old fashioned way where you have the actual shoelaces and the eyelets as well. But uh, as you know, uh, in the previous model we had this uh, locking system where you actually just uh, pull this and your shoelaces will be tightened very easily and to get them off uh, you just uh, pull this one and everything will just uh, release very easily which in my opinion uh, it was actually a good one So as you can see this lacing system is actually quite simple It has this uh, nylon material uh, on the sides which are keeping in place this uh, I would say rope style uh, eyelets where uh, you can see that we have the shoelaces which for this model on the lower part uh, they're gonna be in this uh, round shape but here at the top uh, they're gonna be uh, flat and uh, another improvement for this new model will be this um, uh, tongue which is exactly like the one uh, from the original uh, Vapor Max released in 2016 so we don't have uh, the one from last year where we actually had some uh, foam inside to give you a bit of support and I guess uh, it was also meant to keep in place this uh, system as well but as we don't have the system anymore they decided to go with this um, uh, fly knit material and uh, this one is actually stitched midway so it's gonna be actually quite easy to put them on also at the top of the tongue you can see that we have this uh, very nice uh, Vapor Max uh, tag written in this uh, white color on black 
And as we go to the lateral and also on the medial side, you can see that this time we have the Nike swoosh uh, stitched on both sides. So as we go uh, towards the ankle section, you can see that we have uh, the same fly knit material in this uh, gray color. But as we go inside, you can see that we have uh, a very nice uh, heel uh, section, which is made out of this uh, padding. And uh, this padding is actually going underneath your heel. And it's also kept in place here where it's actually stitched. So uh, this one uh, actually feels quite nice. As you know, in previous models, uh, we didn't have any padding inside. And also on the outside of the actual ankle section, you can see that we have this TPU heel clip, which um, to be honest, uh, in the previous model, uh, as you know, uh, it had that uh, a strange system that uh, was tight on the shoelaces. So uh, that was actually a bit too wider comparing with this uh, midsole, so it looked a bit strange. But as in for the actual uh, Vapor Max lettering, uh, it's still there at the back, nothing changed there. And you can see that we also have this uh, black uh, pull tab here at the back in this uh, nice material, which also has the Nike swoosh here. Also, as we go inside, uh, we have uh, the same uh, insole like in the previous 2020 version, which uh, as you can see, it's made out of this uh, recycled material. And I really feel that this one is actually quite comfortable, even the 2021 was the same. And now guys, we're gonna go to this uh, a full length air uh, unit which is uh, completely unchanged uh, comparing with the last year's one so uh, in my opinion this one is actually quite comfortable uh, I actually felt a few times that um, it's not as stable as other uh, shoes and I think it's uh, mainly because it's not that wider here at the back but uh, I feel that it's comfortable enough, but to be honest, for the price of 200 pounds, I think I've expected more from it. So I guess some uh, room for improvement uh, is still there. So uh, maybe for the next year, we're gonna have an improvement for this uh, midsole. Uh, also, as you can see, we're gonna have some uh, regrind used here at the back of the shoe, also here at the middle. So uh, this will be some uh, rubber regrind to give you a bit of a grip. As in for the actual sizing, as I have uh, skinny feet, I actually went uh, half size down. But I guess if you have uh, normal or a bit wider feet, uh, you should go with a uh, true to size and you'll be just fine. And uh, that's also because this uh, material is actually quite stretchy, so uh, it's gonna be actually quite good. So overall guys, for this uh, new Vapormax 2021, uh, I feel that Nike has made a slight improvement, but uh, I'm not entirely sure if it's uh, worth the 200 pounds uh, price tag. Uh, don't get me wrong, I really love these uh, materials and um, I really appreciate that Nike is uh, using more and more uh, recycled content in their shoes. And I am a big fan of this uh, new lacing system, which is actually the old fashioned one. And uh, I feel that it's slightly more better than the 2020 version, but uh, I'm not entirely sure that uh, 200 pounds is a fair price to be honest. So uh, I would suggest you to maybe wait it out to go on sale because for sure it's gonna go in the next few months. So yeah, guys, uh, this was my unboxing and reviewing of this uh, Nike Air Vapor Max 2021. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to press the like button, maybe also subscribe to the channel. And as always, I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.